No, ladies and gentlemen, it is not Christmas. But for a stock picker, anytime news drives a stock in the direction you want it to go, especially this, the dip, it's Christmas for you. So I got on my plus seven hat of stock picking weapon smithing, skilling up my craft, bringing you guys another YouTube video on a company that is considered one of my pet companies that I love that you can buy the dip based on crazy news that happened. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. If you have questions, comments, and concerns, you want to holler at me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, just go to my link in the description for my IG account and DM me. One of my favorite stocks is Palantir. They are an innovative company, a data company. They've got contracts with the government. They came up with this software called Gotham back in the day that helped the military and the defense for the government. Then they branched out and went into private companies being their operating systems defense with something called Foundry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they dipped yesterday because a glitch happened with the damn FBI. Now, let me read to you what this thing says happened. The prosecution says four unauthorized FBI employees access data a few times over more than a year before the problem was discovered. The agents and analysts who assess the documents don't recall using the materials in other investigations and the compromised evidence won't be presented during the trial that they're going to based on this data collection. And ladies and gentlemen, when that news was found out, a lot of people dipped on Palantir. Now, what they're saying is this wasn't malicious. Um, this was an internal issue, honestly, with the FBI. And the bad news created a dip for my beloved Palantir. A dip that is going to go away, ladies and gentlemen, because what is it that makes companies go up? It's profits. It's believing in what they're going to do. It's innovation. Have we not learned anything from Kathy Woods that innovation and what can happen in the future can also drive the cost of a stock up? Well, that's exactly what happened to Palantir. So I bought a little bit more. And with the stock being hanging around $23, $24, and me having stocks that I believe in long-term for long-term investing, Palantir is definitely one of them that I can see five to 10 years from now being $150 per share of stock. So if you guys haven't taken a look at Palantir as something to invest in, I highly recommend that while it's on a little 3% dip, go get you some, sit back, and you'll be thanking me at least within a year saying I wish I would have bought more. But leave me all your comments. What other stocks do you have in your portfolio that a lot of people might not know about that has huge innovative potential? Um, I do follow Kathy Woods, and she has done a whole lot over the last five years in terms of bringing some of these companies to the forefront that you might not would have known about. But I also believe in you and my subscribers having certain companies that you might not see in the mainstream news that we can all share in these life gains. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Get yourself that life gain. Um, be sure to turn on notifications when I drop videos so that you guys get them all. And also follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, concerns, just hit me up in the DM. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.